Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Report Tutorials. All the info, none of the fluff, so let's get to it. We've been talking about media editing for the past few weeks, and I get a lot of questions along the lines of, why don't my normal hotkeys work in Mediator, like hotkeys for markers, hotkeys for zooming, you know, transport and recording hotkeys and things like that. How come they don't work when you're in the media editor? And the reason for that, probably some of you already know, is that if we open the actions list, if I come to the top right corner, I can see that in section. I can also choose alternative recording, media explorer, media editor, media event list editor, and inline editors so the midi editor window this window behind us right here it has its own set of hotkeys its own set of custom actions so if you look at my custom actions in the main i got all this stuff and in midi editor hardly anything so the midi editor has its own subset of hotkeys for example let's say i want to make my zoom stuff work the same way in midi editor and main editor well i can go to main i can come up here go to find shortcut and i can do command option mouse wheel which is what i have for zooming horizontally and i have it to reverse i don't know that makes more sense to me so now what i can do is i can right click copy selected action text now i can go to my midi editor and i can paste it and see if we get a result how about if we just do this so you would come here and oh it's not the same as before so i can totally add it and then i go back i can go to main search for option or mouse wheel and that's my zoom vertically reversed i can go copy selected action text go over here paste it in filter just get rid of this last bit and there you go so that's what you got to do whatever commands that you want to work in the midi editor the same way as the main editor usually you'd need to come and do it yourself and i wish reaper had a way of copying a whole subset of actions to the other editor but unfortunately you got to do it manually as far as i know if you know a way of doing it non-manually put it in the comments um however i don't think this is a bad thing because this allows us to customize our media editor to be quite different than our audio editor and i think it makes sense for example in my audio editor i can press s to cut things a to trim things i can press f to fade in i can press g to fade out or i can use my qwerty numbers to go to marker one two or three i can press j and go r two and i go to region two so i can really quickly go jr six and i'm in region six all this stuff is really useful and then in my midi editor all this stuff does a different thing so my s moves between notes which is really nice my g brings down the velocity of a note instead of doing a fade i totally have different control based on having totally different different applications in media editor i'm writing music i don't necessarily need to trim or fade or anything like that which is why i have designed my screen set for media editing like this so when i'm a media editor if i want to go to a marker i just click down here and press three or if i want to just jump to any region again i click down here and i go j r eight now i'm at region eight whereas up here if i press j i will join these notes and that just makes way more sense to me and it's more useful for me but say you don't want this you want the same hotkeys to control your markers the good news is for example if i ever want to go to marker one and if I press one, it'll go to one. And the reason for that is that in the MIDI editor, I have nothing set to one. So if I want to go to marker one or I want to go to marker two, I can be in this window and it'll work. So that's great. But then, for example, when I have my number three selected, well, number three changes my grid site to triplet. So because that hotkey is assigned, I need a workaround for number three. So all I got to do is focus this window and press three and I'm right here. So honestly, just clicking in your arrange window is the best way to go. And that's why I have my screen set designed like this. So that's always in my view and I can just click on it. But if you insist on another way or if you want your MIDI editor full screen, then this is the workaround. I'm going to show you how it looks first and then I'll show you how I did it. Whatever hotkeys I have going on in my main window, I can access really easily by pressing one key. So if I press one key and then press three, I go to marker three. Or let's say I'm working on this node. Normally, if I press G, it'll change its velocity. But I press this key, then I press G, and now you can see that instead it created a fade on my MIDI item. So I'll show you what that is. So the key bit of information that you need to know is that if a command is unassigned in your MIDI editor, it'll get passed through to the main. So the way that command works is you need to have SWS for it. If you don't know how to install SWS, watch this video by my friend Mike from Let's Talk About Reaper, where he'll walk you through the process. But essentially, if you get SWS, you will get this command, SWS BR Focus Arrange. So this command command is a main window command as you can see up here however whatever window you're on this command works so whether you're a media explorer or your media editor or the inline editor if i press this key i will focus the arrange window and then all the hotkeys from there work so if i go j r six that'll work without pressing that if i press j well nothing happens because my j is joining notes but if i press that and press j i now go to another marker and yeah i get to keep two sets of hotkeys and then there's also another option here there's a command called toggle sync 
linked to a range view. As you can see right now, my playback and my MIDI editor are linked. So whatever I zoom or whatever I do in each of them affects the other one. I have this command on my toolbar as well. So I can quickly go in and out of this if I want. Let's say I'm working in this section. I zoom way in here. If I go down here and go JR8, we would go to region 8 in both of these. So I prefer this. Now, when it comes to things like zoom and other things like that, you just got to do the work yourself a little bit. And again, my favorite way for doing that is to find the shortcut here by going find shortcut and then moving your keys, then come right here, copy selected action text, move it to MIDI editor. And then sometimes you got to get rid of a few words for it to show up. And then you add the shortcut from here. And if you do this once, I promise you it takes like less than half an hour and you don't need to do all of this at once. Just as you go, whatever hotkey you saw, you don't have a MIDI editor quickly set it save your configurations and after a little bit it will work exactly how you want it to that's it for today i think this covers a number of questions that i got on reddit and facebook if you have any other midi editing related questions drop them in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow bye